All right, always a balancing act when we look at uh, the, the party in charge and in control of the White House, and especially when it's uh, up for dibs again, uh, talking about an economy that has indeed rounded the bend, but a lot of Americans aren't feeling it. So you can't push things are too great when Americans at home aren't feeling that great. That balance is, is one my next guest knows well and tries to be aware of it. I'm talking about the Democratic governor of the beautiful state of Connecticut, Ned Lamont. Governor, good to see you again. Hey, Neil, nice to see you. Um, first off, on this view and, 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 and how you think the convention is going so far, because I understand some of the economic numbers do support a lot of what the president was saying in the wee hours of last night and some of the others, uh, that, that, that it's, it, 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 it's doing better. But a lot of Americans simply aren't feeling it. And it, it comes up in company announcements like Lowe's today, sir, Home Depot last week, saying the consumer's retrenching a bit. Um, I don't know specifically what you're seeing in Connecticut, Governor, but that's a delicate balancing act, right? You don't want to be too gung-ho. Things are great, right? What, what, what do you do? I look around uh, our state. We have new, more new business startups than we've had in a generation. I look at our country compared to other countries around the world. I think we are the envy of the world. But, Neil, to your bigger point, I've got families in New Britain who used to work at Stanley Black and Decker, and they used to have a really good middle class job. And maybe uh, those jobs went overseas, and their sons are now working at a stop and shop or something. So there is a disconnect there. We've got to make sure that everybody's included in our prosperity. Well, I had you, Governor. Uh, the, the issue with Joe Biden speaking so late was that deliberate? I mean, was that, look, Joe, we want to welcome you. <laughs> Thank you for your service. We'll put you on so late that people might not see you. It just seemed like a slap. <laughs> no, we're Democrats. We're not a member of an organized party. We, yeah. Things went on too late. Maybe they were saying, hey, everybody says he's a nine to four president. Look at him. He's at midnight. Why, why coast not time. cancel some More of the, the other guys who were speaking before him? Like when I heard they were promoting Senator Coons, who's a wonderful human being, a wonderful senator, uh, you would start cutting in the schedule, right, to, to allow time for Joe Biden, who made all of this happen with Kamala Harris to be your, your party standard bearer. But no, they, they stuck to that schedule and pushed old Joe later and later and later. What do you think? <laughs> well, I think, I think a couple of people did get pushed aside. But uh, more to the point, there was Joe Biden at midnight East Coast time, you know, on fire. And uh, okay. there was a lot of love in that room. This was a thank you, Joe night. And uh, he had a good story to tell. He did. Um, not as many were able to hear it, to your point. But, but the, the bottom line, and to be fair to you, I, I didn't mean to be, you know, cruel about it. It, it. The party is a lot more united than it had been on this optimism building like there hadn't been. Uh, certainly not like 1968 in Chicago when the party was very, very divided. So how do you see this ending up, coming out of the convention? Always uh, to be expected as a bump for, for, for the... The, the, the ticket, it, it sometimes can be a very short live bump. I think Michael Dukakis dis discovered that in 1988. But uh, there is a bump. What do you expect? I think uh, the party is as unified as I've seen it, and I've been around for uh, quite a while. Um, Kamala and Tim Waltz, the governors love Tim Waltz. We worked with him quite a bit. But uh, we just had uh, James Carville to our breakfast, and he said, uh, Democrats, we always win August, but the election's not for another uh, three months. We're just getting started. Um, you know, in Connecticut, I was talking about you have a remarkable ability. I'm not blowing you smug. I've said this when you're not even here, to, 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 to work with Republicans and Democrats. Obviously, there's the predictable political zinging. But Connecticut's a place where you kind of have to do that, even though uh, lately it's been a, a blue state. Uh, the fact of the matter is you have a lot of very wealthy Republicans and others who call that home. Uh, so you have to balance that out as well. It, it isn't done so easily in other states. And nationally, uh, we are as polarized as ever. Do you think any of that changes? I like the way we work together in Connecticut. Let's face it, our federal delegation is very democratic based on some big national issues we care about. At the state level, we've had Republican governors as often as we've had Democratic right. governors this last generation or so. And my job is, look, I come out of business, so I'm a different type of Democrat. And I work very hard to make sure both sides of the aisle. Our last budget was almost unanimous. I felt pretty good about that. Well, I think the difference was you do come out of business. And I always think it's a requirement 
for Republicans or Democrats, especially if they ascend to the level like you, a governor of a, a big state, to have that background. Most, most don't. And uh, it, it can be scary that what happens as a result on the left or right. I, I, I'd only add, I want more people coming out of business to get in the legislature, get in the public service. We got a fair number of uh, lawyers and advocates and the such there. <laughs> Just brings a little balance to what we're all trying to do. Yeah, you got to watch the, the lawyers who also have a background in business because, man, that can be scary. But we'll see. Governor, that's another conversation for another time. Very good seeing you again.